How to sit. Fix your posture and save your back. We'll go over proper posture for sitting and driving, lifting, sleeping and lying down. Presented by AlternativeBackPainRemedies.com We've been told as kids to sit up straight. Many of us ignored our parents and teachers' warnings. We may be paying for it now, as poor posture over time has taken its toll on our bodies. Now, 80% of Americans will experience a back problem at some point in their lives. We know the effects of bad posture all too well. It's time to grow up and take our posture more seriously. So how can we avoid back pain? Good posture trains our bodies to stand, walk, sit, lift, and lie in positions where the least strain is placed on supporting muscles and ligaments during movement. There are devices available to help achieve and maintain good posture, but for now, we will focus on improvement without help from any such device. Whether we stand, sit, or lift, proper posture keeps bones and joints aligned, decreases wearing of joint surfaces, decreases stress on the spine, prevents fatigue, strain, backache, and muscle pain, and can improve appearance and confidence. Now that we know the benefits of good posture and how it can relieve our back pain, let's dig deeper into the details. Proper posture begins by keeping your back straight, shoulders back, and buttocks at the back of the chair. Most offices have ergonomic chairs that will help maintain the natural curvature of the back. It's important to distribute your body weight evenly on the hips to reduce stress on either side. Your knees should be bent at 90 degrees and level with or higher than the hips. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Do not cross your legs. Avoid sitting in one position for longer than 30 minutes. Shift weight around. Despite what your teachers have told you, fidgeting is good for your back. It exercises muscles that go ignored and prevents your body from getting stiff in one position. Rest elbows on the armrests of the chair or on the desk. If your chairs have wheels or spins, do not twist at the waist. Turn the entire body instead. There are devices available such as lumbar rolls, back cushions, and various chairs to help promote and encourage good posture. Driving posture shares many of the same guidelines that normal sitting does, with a few adjustments. Like a standard office chair, the knees should be level with or higher than the hips. Move the seat close enough to the steering wheel so that the legs are allowed to both bend and reach the pedals, and the back maintains its natural curvature. Overall, a combination of sitting and standing is optimal but having bad posture in either will lead to back pain. When standing, keep shoulders back and aligned. Keep the body straight by using the stomach muscles. Slightly bend the knees to ease pressure on the hips. Many have given the advice of puffing the chest out, but doing so can be too much. Most people slouch, so puffing out the chest can help, but we really want to keep the chest perpendicular to the ground. Like sitting, you do not want to be in one position for long periods of time. Shift the body and weight around. This is much easier when standing than sitting, as the body isn't confined to a chair. Quality shoes or ergonomic floor mats can help provide good support for both the feet and the back. Lifting improperly can be one of the leading causes of back pain. To avoid straining your back, keep the back straight Bend at the knees and hips. Do not bend forward at the waist. This will strain the lower back. Keep a wide, solid stand with firm footing. Tighten the stomach muscles and lift with the legs. Hold the object close to the body to control the center of gravity and keep the stomach muscles tight. Move and walk slowly. Do not twist while moving. Turn the entire body. To lower the object, Repeat the steps in reverse. Even when we lie down, we want to maintain proper posture. It can be done by placing a pillow under the head, but not the shoulders. The thickness should leave your head in its normal position. As always, maintaining the curvature of the back is necessary, and this can be accomplished easily by putting a pillow under the knees or using a lumbar roll underneath the lower back. Do not sleep on your stomach. 
This can be a nightmare for the neck. If the mattress is sagging, it can also cause back pain. While most of us want to sleep on a bed as soft as a cloud, a firm mattress is really what our back needs. Sagging into a mattress puts the spine out of its natural curvature. Maintaining proper posture all day, every day, is not easy if not near impossible. However, the more we are conscious and putting forth the effort, the more it becomes habit and second nature. Thankfully, there are devices and techniques that make maintaining good posture and preventing back pain easy. So we've compiled a complete report on different ways to reduce back pain naturally. Type alternativebackpainremedies.com slash backpainreport into your browser for a copy of our free report. Use one or more of these methods to improve your posture and rid yourself from back pain for good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to be up to date with the latest from alternativebackpainremedies.com.